Hello, my name is Jennifer Lastly, and I'm the Senior Program Coordinator for the PBS Pathway and WHO IHR Connections at World, the World Organization for Animal Health. So uh, we at WOA are developing the PVS Pathway Information System. PVS stands for the Performance of Veterinary Services. And in the PVS IS, we are transforming the information that is in PVS reports, the main output of the PVS Pathway. And we are structuring that information, extracting it, and uh, trying to gain additional insight and um, monitoring and evaluation data from the reports to be able to better understand progress over time uh, for our member countries' veterinary services. So how can this PVS data that we are managing to, to structure and extract, uh, which are contained in those reports, how can they be used? Uh, so um, this is just a visual of uh, our mock-up of the information system at this stage. The uh, PVS IS will be launched at the general session uh, in May 2024 on the anniversary or on our 100th anniversary of WOA. Once I log into the site, I can see many different uh, functionalities and, and tasks and visualizations and access to different uh, functionalities like um, report preview uh, to see uh, the reports in an interactive manner, to be able to explore the critical competencies and the levels of advancement, to be able to access um, any kinds of um, documents in the PVS pathway, learn about the PVS IS. I'm going to specifically show you a bit more about the PVS pathway insight section, which is really the innovation and how we can use this data uh, that's extracted in the reports. Um, so, how do we extract this information? Uh, we have developed a natural language processing model where in each report, each critical competency, you find the level of advancement, the findings, the strengths, the weaknesses, and recommendations for that critical competency. Each of those sections and each sentence in that section has been extracted from the more than 215 PBS reports developed to date since 2007 and they have been structured in a transactional database. Then we're able to uh, develop uh, a natural language processing and machine learning model that is able to process this information. And so I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like to give you an idea. Uh, as we are uh, looking at uh, here a prototype of um, 20 different uh, PBS evaluation type reports across the years in the PBS pathway, we can see the critical competencies that exist. Uh, and if I click on any one of them, I can see different recommendations that are made in that particular critical competency. Uh, so these here are the original text as it's written in the uh, reports of the rec um, at, and the recommendation section of each critical competency. We have, using our natural language processing model, uh, transformed this quite long and heavy information into its main ideas to develop key phrases. Those key phrases then, again, using our model, grouping those together like ideas with like so that they can become key recommendations. The key recommendations then we're able to look at them together in a more um, insightful way using visualizations and interactive dashboards to really be able to understand what are the most frequent key recommendations um, organized by critical competency, but that are present across any cohort or any particular report. So uh, here, for example, we can see that the most frequent key recommendation is here, strengthening veterinary services management. And you can see all of the key phrases that are linked to that particular key recommendation. So this is the kind of model uh, that we are working on right now to be able to add value um, and to bring the more than 1,700 recommendations present in this particular cohort to um, a much more manageable, smaller list that's going to improve analysis from the past of data, but also to improve prospective data collection in the future. Then from there, we can go on to do any number of visualizations. You can just see a, a very small selection of them here to be able to look at those key recommendations. This is this will be a, a game changer 
and a new tool to be able to help all of our members to uh, better understand and act on and prioritize their future actions. So we'd like to know from you how you currently use PBS reports and data in your work and if you think that such a system and qualitative analysis will help you. Thank you so much.